What's happening, guys? I'm going to hit it and quit it. Hey, want to send a big shout out to um, Nick Saban. Alabama football players put out this amazing video yesterday, right? And that doesn't happen, man, without leadership. That doesn't happen without coaching. It doesn't happen without a football coach who is in tune with the pulse of his African-American players, okay? That doesn't mean that he's treating those players any better than he treats anybody else on the football team. But just like a parent, man, we all have kids. And all of those kids, we love them all the same. But your kids are going to need different things at different times. It doesn't mean just because you're going to dance practice with your daughter and you got your son playing basketball, right? It don't mean that your daughter life don't matter. You, you could do both of these things and still love them at the same time. But this is what America wrestles with. Because the heart of America has been corrupted by this, this dark wave of shit called Trump and his supporters and this historic systemic racism, this incurable disease of racism. And the thing about it is, in the in the in this storm, this whole racist storm, man, this coach at Alabama stands up and said, these kids matter, right? They matter to me. They life matter to me. Now you go right down the street to dabble at crazy ass Clemson, and you got this super privileged white boy who was the wide receiver coach, who never had a head coaching job until Clemson. He actually got his job because of white privilege. You got him who don't even want to acknowledge the black kids who made him who he is. And I also fault the black kids that's there because you can say something. You don't have to wait like the black kids who left Clemson. Now you want to join the Black Panther Party after you leave Clemson. When your ass was there for years, you could have made a difference while you were there. So I don't, I don't look at those players taking a position now. Because this racist shit that they're doing at Clemson, they didn't just start doing it. But that's the dichotomy of all of this. There's Nick Saban. Then there's Dabo. And Dabo is accustomed to black people serving him. That's why they don't have... You know, whenever we've had to serve white people, they've never had compassion for us. They never had, when you, when you were in a servitude, when you were in a this submissive area to them, when have they ever demonstrated compassion? Not during slavery, not during sharecropping. When have they ever? And Clemson runs that team like sharecroppers. But they don't respect these players. They don't have no say so. You got assistant coaches calling players or whatever happened with that. That whole, that whole, you know, N-word situation. Whatever happened with it, I don't know. But you could see the difference in the culture because you have never, ever, out of all of the stuff, you know, I know everything that go on in Tuscaloosa. You've never heard no bullshit like what you're hearing coming out of Clemson. And so I just wanted to say, you know, I want to give Saving a shout out because this, all of them could be Clemson. All of this shit could be Clemson. Right. But but black parents, this is also an opportunity to to pay attention to these coaches. I said it in this video a couple of months ago. I said, if the Twitter page of your coach don't reflect what's on the mind of your son, he doesn't give a shit about your son. OK, I don't give a shit. I don't care how big the duffel bag is. I don't care. I don't care what house they gave you or what they paid off if that coach is going to mentally destroy your son. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's all. This also goes for the high school coaches in North Louisiana with their racist ass. To the parents in North Louisiana, pay attention. Okay? Pay attention to this shit. You, you don't have, your kid don't have to play for the most racist coach in the county. Same thing with Clemson. Yo, yo, hey, hey, black parents at Clemson, your son don't have to pay for the most racist coach in the, in, in the country. And they want to hide behind this all life matters shit. When all, all life matters is simply, it's simply a racist counterpunch to the obvious. George Floyd was murdered in the most heinous way that has been captured on film in, in at least two years. And they picked this moment to say, no, all life matter. Since when? Since when, Mr. White Dude? Since when all life matter? All life ain't never matter. Not here. Not in this country. 
your life, oh, your, your life has always mattered. So you're saying shit that's really redundant. Your life has always mattered. Ours haven't. Latinos haven't. We got Latinos kids in cages right now. I don't want to hear no shit about no old life man. Y'all building a wall. The fuck you building a wall for if old life matters? But that's not what I want to talk about. Congratulations, Alabama. Congratulations, Nick Saban, for always being there for your players, for always being first. You were first on Colin Kaepernick. You was first to get a, a black coordinator at Alabama. You know, hey, hey, congratulations, man. I, I have the utmost respect for you guys. TJ.